For decades, Silicon Valley was the undisputed king of technology. It gave us the personal computer, the internet, and the smartphone, shaping how we lived, worked, and communicated. Companies like Apple, Google, and Microsoft set the rules and defined the future. But empires don't last forever. Success bred complacency, innovation slowed, and the focus shifted from changing the world to protecting profits. Silicon Valley became a walled garden, exclusive, expensive, and closed. Meanwhile, China was watching, learning, and preparing. Once dismissed as a copycat, China quietly transformed itself from the world's factory into a technological powerhouse. The student was ready to challenge the master. This isn't just a story of companies, it's a clash of philosophies, open access versus closed systems, building for the many versus selling to the few. The age of American tech dominance is ending. A new challenger has arrived, not just a company but a nation with a plan. The digital kingdom faces its greatest test. To understand this new tech war, you need to know the ultimate prize artificial general intelligence or AGI. Today's AI is smart, but only in narrow ways, a tool, not a mind. AGI would think, learn and create like a human solving problems and innovating in ways we can't imagine. Whoever builds AGI first will control the future economy's medicine, even military power. It's the most important race in human history happening quietly in labs and data centers. For years, everyone assumed an American company would win Google, OpenAI, DeepMind. They had the talent, money, and head start. But the race is changing. It's not just about smart scientists, it's about data, computing power, and national will. While Silicon Valley built closed, expensive models, another strategy emerged scale, speed, and putting AI in the hands of billions. The AGI race is now a marathon, not a sprint. The world's expectations are shifting. The finish line is no longer guaranteed to be in America, the stakes? Nothing less than who shapes the next century. The world is watching. In 2024, the AI world was rocked by a new player DeepSeek AI from China. Their large language model didn't just match OpenAI's GPT-4 and Google's Gemini, it was nearly free. While American companies built paywalls, DeepSeek tore them down, democratizing AI for the world. Suddenly, Developers in India, entrepreneurs in Brazil, and students in Nigeria had access to world-class AI. DeepSeek wasn't just selling a product, it was building a global ecosystem. Startups and businesses in developing nations flocked to DeepSeek, no longer priced out by American tech. China was positioning itself as the world's AI utility provider, embedding its technology everywhere. The Silicon Valley model driven by profit and exclusivity looked outdated. China's goal wasn't quick profit, it was influence. By making AI cheap and accessible, China was creating dependencies that would last for decades. The dragon had roared, and the world listened. The rules of the game had changed. The balance of power was shifting. AI learns from data and no country has more than China. With over 1.4 billion people living digitally, China's data is vast and integrated. Apps like WeChat combine messaging, payments and shopping and healthcare, creating a unified data set unmatched anywhere else. In the West, data is fragmented and privacy rules slow progress. China's government coordinates data collection as a national priority, fueling AI development at scale. This great wall of data is a strategic asset as vital as any military. More data means smarter AI, which attracts more users, creating a self-reinforcing cycle. As AI models grow hungrier for data, those without access will fall behind. China isn't just building AI. It's building the world's most powerful feedback loop. The West debates privacy, China builds the future. The edge is real, and it's growing. Data feeds AI, but data centers are the engine and they run on energy. China leads the world in building massive, efficient data centers powered by cheap, reliable energy. With record investments in renewables, nuclear and coal, China ensures its AI infrastructure runs 24-7 at low cost. In remote provinces, mega-clusters of data centers are rising connected by high-speed fiber, forming a national AI brain. This state-driven approach delivers scale and efficiency the West can't match. The ability to provide cheap, abundant computing power is now a decisive advantage. China is winning not just the software race but the hardware race too. The world's digital future is being built in Chinese server farms. Infrastructure, not hype, is the foundation of dominance. The AI revolution runs on power, and China controls the switch. The brain of AI is the semiconductor chip. For years America controlled the world's best chips, using sanctions to block China's access. But the chip war backfired. 
instead of crippling China, it sparked a national mission for self-sufficiency. Billions poured into domestic chip design and manufacturing, companies like Huawei developed their own advanced AI chips, breaking free from American control. Now, there's a powerful alternative to NVIDIA, and a non-American tech stack for the world. The sanctions, meant to secure America's lead, created a new competitor. The global tech landscape is now fragmented. The attempt to choke China's progress only made it stronger. No company symbolizes China's tech resilience like Huawei. Targeted by US sanctions cut off from Google and American chips, many predicted its collapse. Instead, Huawei reinvented itself, building its own operating system, Harmony OS and its own AI chips. The Ascend series now powers China's AI infrastructure rivaling NVIDIA. Huawei's survival proved a world-class tech company could thrive without Silicon Valley. It became a national champion inspiring confidence at home and abroad. Today, Huawei leads in 5G, cloud computing and AI, building the smart cities and autonomous vehicles of tomorrow. The attempt to destroy Huawei only made it stronger and more independent. It's now a symbol of technological sovereignty. The old rules no longer apply. Huawei's rise is a warning. The West's chokehold on tech is broken. The future is up for grabs. The world is watching who will lead. In America, tech value was measured by hype and stock prices. Flashy launches and charismatic CEOs drove perception, not always real impact. China's approach is different, build real things for real people at massive scale. The value is in infrastructure, supply chains, and billions of users, not just market cap. Chinese companies are building the digital roads, phones, and AI chips, powering the developing world. While Silicon Valley sells expensive software to the rich, China offers affordable tech to billions. This quiet, patient influence is more durable than hype. The world faces a choice close costly systems from the West, or accessible practical solutions from China. For most, the answer is clear. The center of gravity is shifting east. Not because of better marketing, but better hardware. The future belongs to those who build it. We're living through a new kind of world war fought in code, not on battlefields, the prize isn't land, but control over the digital foundations of society. China isn't just catching up, it's pulling ahead. DeepSeek's open AI Huawei's resilience and China's data centers are reshaping the global order. America focused on ideas and stock prices, China built infrastructure and influence. The shift is happening now in server racks and chip fabs, not diplomatic chambers. The West's technological supremacy is no longer guaranteed. The outcome will define who writes the rules for AI, who benefits and who is left behind. The momentum has shifted. China's strategic advance is the greatest challenge to the Western-led order in a century. The battle for the future is a battle of code. And China may already be winning. The world is watching and choosing sides.